late last week, an illegal grow was raided in Central Point. The property owner who leased their land for the grow was not only fined, but their profits from leasing the land were seized by Jackson County. NBC 5's Anthony Carter dove more into this with county officials. He has our top story tonight at 6. Anthony. Craig, a Jackson County Code Enforcement officer tells me that these fines are nothing new, but they are getting higher as the situation worsens. As state and local officials continue their fight against illegal marijuana grows, new legislation is increasing penalties on property owners. Now my code enforcement officers have the ability to just drive through the community and if they see something that's cannabis related, they can address it without having a, a complaint from a community member. Alicia Brown is the division manager of code enforcement for Jackson County. Because of the alarming rise in illegal grow sites in the community, Brown says the county has to step in. Code enforcement does have enhanced penalties for cannabis related violations now. Um, that was a result of the Board of Commissioners changing our policies and procedures last year. Last Thursday morning, Jackson County Sheriff's deputies served a search warrant on a grow site on the 1800 block of Given Road in Central Point. Nearly 5,000 illegal plants were seized and destroyed. The property owner was fined $33,000 for five separate violations. Due to the number of structures that people are erecting on their property. So that's why the fines get so high is because there's multiple structures on these sites when we go to them. At the Gibbon Road site, the county was horrified by the living conditions of the workers. In general, we see people living in um, tents, in RVs, camp trailers, Connex boxes, um, greenhouses. Sometimes they're just sleeping on the ground. Investigators say the property owner there was paid $7,500 to lease the property for the grow. Jackson County also seized that money. I do know that law enforcement, that's a a, a common avenue that law enforcement will take when they can um, prove that money was, there was profit basically from uh, criminal activity. Brown says the county saw a significant increase in growth sites last year and received a little more than 1,900 complaints from the community. 60% of it was marijuana related. With the numbers expected to be the same by the end of this year, Brown notes their work is far from over. It's important to note that the Central Point site is still under investigation and detectives are following up on new leads. Live in the newsroom, Anthony Carter, NBC5 News.